there's a shortcut to the YouTube app right on the home screen. Opening the app, you have five options along the bottom to find videos. Featured, most viewed, search, favorites, and more. Featured and most viewed will show a list populated by YouTube. Clicking on search, you're able to look for specific videos or YouTube channels. Here I'll search for the artist Gemtronic. The phone displays a list of corresponding results and tapping on one of these will show you information about the video as well as related videos. There are also three options, add to favorites, add to playlist, and share video. Tapping on the blue arrow will display a description as well as any comments on the video. From here you can also find more videos posted by the author. Tapping on the thumbnail of the video will begin playback. Videos are automatically oriented for landscape view. Yeah. Tapping on the screen will bring up playback controls. You can press play pause, skip back, or skip forward. You can also tap this icon to bookmark the song, and once it's bookmarked, the icon turns gray. Tapping the envelope will allow you to share the video via email. Pressing the arrows in the top right corner will allow you to adjust the view of the video and pressing the blue done icon will take you back to the video page. Opening the favorites option will display all of your favorite videos. If you sign in with your YouTube account, it will automatically load all of your favorite videos. Under more, you are able to access videos sorted by most recent and top rated. You can also access the history and your video subscriptions and playlists. The device comes with Safari as the default web browser. To launch, tap on the Safari icon on the home screen. By default, this is located at the bottom of the screen. Safari will open and will launch your home page or the last page you were viewing. Along the top of the screen are the URL address bar and the Google search box. Across the bottom you will find back, forward, add share, bookmarks, and windows. With Safari you are able to have multiple windows active with different websites. Tapping on the Windows page, you are able to navigate between these, close individual windows, or open a new window. To open a new window, tap on the New Page icon. The new window will open blank. Enter the URL in the address bar. In Safari Web Browser, the keyboard has two new buttons. There's a .com button and the Go button which will launch the website you entered. Tapping on the Add Share button, you're able to bookmark the website you're viewing now, add an icon for the website to your home screen, or email a link to the page. Here I'll add a bookmark. The first option is to enter the name for the bookmark. By default, it's named Untitled.
After you've entered the title of your bookmark, you can tap on the bookmark option. If you set up additional folders, they will appear here. As shown on the left, this is how you can add different folders to categorize your bookmarks. Once you've selected the location for your bookmark, click on Add Bookmark to return to the information screen. When you've finished entering the information for your bookmark, tap on Save. Your bookmark will be recorded and you'll be returned to the original website you were viewing. I now have two windows open and you can see the exact number of windows you have open in the bottom right corner on the Windows icon. Tapping on the Windows icon, you can easily jump back and forth between open windows. Once you have the window you want to open selected, tap on it. Tapping on the Add Share option, I'll now add a home screen shortcut linking to this specific page. The only option you can change for this is the name of the shortcut. When you've finished, tap the Add icon and your shortcut will be placed on the home screen. To access your bookmarks, tap on the bookmark icon. Here you'll find a list of all your bookmarks and browser history. Tap on the bookmark you want to open and the website will automatically launch in the window you're currently viewing. Alright, let's jump back to Google and I'll show you a few web browsing suggestions. When you tap on the Google search bar, it will display a list of your recent searches. Tapping on any of your recent searches will automatically execute a search. There's a few ways to zoom in and out on a web page. Using multi-touch, just like in the gallery, you can use pinch to zoom in and out. You can also double tap with two fingers, which will zoom in, and double tapping with a single finger will zoom out. The phone will automatically reorient the screen when you turn it from vertical to horizontal. By double tapping the home button, and scrolling to the left until these controls appear, you can use the farthest option to the left to turn on or off auto rotation. Here I'm turning auto rotation off and you can see the icon has changed to display a lock reflecting the locked portrait orientation. Now when I rotate the phone, the image remains static. To reactivate auto rotation, double tap on the home button again and tap on the same icon as before. As you can see, the lock disappears and the phone will now reorient itself automatically once again. You can also save images from websites right to your phone. Tap and hold on the image you want to save and a list of additional options will appear. Open, open a new page, save image, and copy. With the iPhone, you don't have to type in www or .com for most websites. Notice after I type Apple in the URL bar and press go, iPhone will automatically insert www and .com in the proper places. The device comes with Google Maps, which allows you to map out directions and search for locations. Tapping on the Maps icon will launch the application. You have two main options, Search and Directions. Currently, we are using the search function. To search, tap on the search bar and enter the location you want to find. Here I've searched for New York City. When the device locates what you're searching for, it will display on the map using a red pen and information box. Tapping on the blue arrow, you can get more information about the location, including the address, 
and direction shortcuts. Along the bottom there are three additional options, add to contacts, share location, and add to bookmarks. To get back to the map, tap on the map icon in the top left corner. The map screen pulls back to reveal additional options when you tap on this icon. Here you can find options to drop a pin marking the current location on the map and show traffic patterns. You also have four options for map views. Map, Satellite, Hybrid, and List. Here I'll drop a pin to mark the location. User drop pins have purple tops. Pulling the page back again, I'll switch on traffic patterns. The roads are replaced with colors corresponding to how traffic is currently flowing. Tapping on hide traffic will turn off traffic views. Up until now, the display has been in map view. Tapping on satellite view switches it to actual satellite images of the area. Hybrid view will overlay animated streets and highways while keeping the satellite image background. The final view option is List. This provides you with the city or location you search for while in search mode. Clicking on the List item will display the same location information page as shown before on the map. Clicking on the arrow in the bottom left corner will immediately locate and display your current location. Tapping on directions will launch this screen. By default, the start location will be your current location as determined by the GPS, and your end destination will be the dropped pin. This makes it easy to map out your trip and even check for possible delays or obstacles along the way prior to departure. If the locations in the start or end field are not correct, simply tap on the field you wish to change and enter the correct location. The icon between the start and end locations will give you reverse directions. This makes it easy to find your way back. Once you have the correct start and end location, tap on route and the device will automatically find directions. You have three options for mode of travel. Car, bus, and foot. The directions will automatically find the best route depending on your mode of travel. From this point, if you need to make any changes to your start or end location, tap on edit. If everything is in order, press start. After hitting start, the map will zoom in on your location and your route will be highlighted in purple. Tapping the forward and back arrows in the top right corner, you can step through the list of directions. As you travel, iPhone will track your current location. Pulling the page back, you still have the same options as before, including traffic, which is a handy tool for your trip.